Morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> right, I need to start this vlog before I forget, Mazzy, by mentioning the sound. Yes. You will have noticed in a few videos lately there's been sound out of just one ear. Right? And in some instances I've heard people have no sound. So, I don't know, well, we know there's a problem with the camera or the microphone, okay? It could be the laptop as well. <clears throat> it's not the laptop. Okay. So, what I've done with last night's video and this video is I've switched it from stereo into mono, which means that the one ear which is working puts it into both ears, but it's not in stereo. So, I just need you to let me know if the sound is okay. Um, it's not ideal, but it might just have to do... Just till we get a chance to look at things, yeah. You know, we have got other microphones we can use. Yeah. Just not as good as this little one which we like yeah. to use. So if you can just let us know if the sound is okay. Yeah. Right, um, we're off on to... Dan's very... Oh, I'm, I'm exhausted today, I don't know why. Uh, Belchite or something, Benchite, Belchite, which was bombed in the Civil War in 18, 1937. But it looks spec. The ruins look spectacular, but you need to do a tour to get to see it. I think. Mm. Which the tours are an hour and a half long, which is no good for Mazzy because she needs a toilet more often than that. <laughs> yeah, but you do, don't you? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's no good. It's just no good, and we probably couldn't film it anyway. No, I think you can film. Can you? That won't be a problem. But the tour is at twelve o'clock anyway, which is when it's supposed to be throwing it down today. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go there anyway because it's on the way to his next stop. Uh, and we'll just park up and see what's what. Yep. And then move on to the next spot, if, which we probably will do. Yep. Right, let's go. You ready? Yeah, I'll let you. you say out yet, have I? No, I just, I might as well just sit here. Flies are doing Flies weird everywhere. this morning. They go out and then they come back in again. Did you just see that? Well, Mazzy thinks if you've got a fly in the van, the best way to get rid of it is open the door. She just doesn't understand that that just lets more flies in. Once a fly's in, it do not want to go Come out. Come on, I, I'm in for a day of this, ain't I? Yeah. I can tell. Come on. Let's go. All around this area, just fields and fields and fields of grapevines. Well, we think they're grapevines, don't we? <laughs> well, with the wineries oh, sure, and yeah. stuff I going on. The yeah, they've not actually got the fruits on, so we can't tell, but. I think with the wineries around here, but it's mad, it's just covered in it. They must be mating a few, Bob. We're supposed to be heading into desert. Are we today? In the next 20 minutes, the most mm. desert-like area in this part of Spain. Oh, that's going to be interesting. This is an oldie looking town we're just coming through. Jerusalem, has it? It feels like it. It's very dry and derelict, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the size of that bike on the side of the house. <laughs> you see that? That's massive. Yeah, not sure what the town is actually called. Jerusalem, has it? Driving along in his motor home, and we found somewhere to stop. We just saw something really cool. So this place is called Fuende Todos. Fuende Todos. Now the village is over there. It looks like Jerusalem again. There's a big church, but we just saw these down here. Now we don't know if it's someone's garden, but I think we're going to risk it anyway. Oh yeah, you're actually going over there? Yeah. There's like a path going through, isn't there? So I don't see why we can't. Okay, I'm doing it on my own because it's a bit of a bank coming down there. And we don't know if we meant, I don't know if it's someone's garden. Really don't know, but look at these statues, man. They're beautiful. So you've got a goat. Look, they're all made out of just bits of old farm machinery and stuff. You've got a cool man here with a walking stick. This is fantastic. A dog. I think the donkey is probably the best one. That is incredible. Goat, goat, 
goat. Oh, he likes making goats. What a random thing to just find. Okay, so it's not someone's garden. I'm guessing they're trying to turn this area into a bit of a touristy bit. Got two nice old olive trees there. And yeah, just a beautiful like driveway thing here. I'll tell you what, it wouldn't surprise me if they're turning this into an air. On the far side there, you've got all the bins here. It would not surprise me at all. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But not where we're trying to get to today. I do always worry about where I'm standing in Spain because of... I don't know if there's any snakes here. Definitely lizards. Oh, it absolutely reeks here of manure. Yeah, very well made, Mazzy. What is it, like a commu communal garden? Communal sort garden. of. It's hard to explain. It's as if they're halfway through making an area. Oh. Could be a possible air of the future, I'm not sure. Very nice. Yeah, it looks smart. Worth the stop, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I hid behind the van as a car went past. <laughs> so, welcome to... I think it's Belchite. <laughs> Belchite. The way it's spelt made me laugh. It looks a bit like bell... Shite. Shite. Bell shite. <laughs> bell shite. Bell shite. <coughs> now, we're not going to get to show you anything here. Oh. Basically, in the Spanish Civil War, 1937, which I'd never heard of, so this is just before World War II, they had to go through their own civil war and then straight into a world war. Hello, pussycat. She's not interested in you. Um, the entire town was destroyed in the Civil War, so it's just ruins, and it's meant to be one of the best ruined towns in the world, in the top ten. So everything, this is the new town, everything over here has been built since like 1940 onwards. Now these in particular look like they were built in the last year. So there's nothing to look at down there, it's just not historic enough, it's got no character. And the actual ruins, now you used to be able to walk around them a few years ago. Now, you can only go around on a guided tour. For eight euros each, I think there's one at 12 o'clock and there's one tonight. Yeah. You know, it's... Firstly, I don't think there'll be one today because there's no other tourists, there's no other people in the town, let alone tourists. I don't know. <laughs> We're the only we've people already, here. All we've done is drive through. We are the only people here. I would have liked to have done the tour at 12. I think it would have been well geared. There's two reasons why not. One, we don't know if it's going to be in English. Two, it is guided, so we can't just do our own thing. And three, the toilet situation. Yeah. So, it's it's a lot to risk, it sounds, and it's supposed to throw it down at twelve o'clock. It sounds to me you're making up any excuse. I'm not to at all. <laughs> I'm not at all. But we can't even show you a ruin at the moment. We just can't see anything. So we're just going to take a little walk up here, see if we can catch any of it. Over to Mazzy to show you some art. Yep, more graffiti. Let me take you over. This this is actually really smart. Oh, battery's going to go. There's some talented people, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. Looks like Amy, Amy Winehouse. Uh, Look at this guy here. Oh, I know what he's up to, yeah. Yeah, really good. That oh, that's good, isn't it? Really, really good. Yeah. Kiss me so much. It's actually all on the two walls going up. That side... <laughs> isn't done so well. What does this say, guys? To Tola Locura. Don't know. Why. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't mind graffiti when it's done in a nice um, yeah. artistic way, when it's done all, <laughs> I want to say professionally, but. Um, you can tell the less good artists are down this end. It's still good. Yeah, there's one really good one on the side of that house there. Oh, though. Yeah. yeah. 
So it looks like they're doing a lot of building work to like the entrance to this old town. Um, it's just around the corner somewhere. You turn it around. There you go. So you can just see the top of a ruin up there. Oh gosh, yeah. But we're not going to get close enough to see anything. We've got a big lake there. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> Um, so far, so far. So far. Honestly, guys, we, we, check it out online. Look, look up the pictures yourself because it is a beautiful, some beautiful Ow. ruins. Oh, what I have you done? Freaked. Oh, that was shut <laughs> up. <laughs> There's like holes in the roof of like an old monastery or church or something. And at night, you can see the stars above yeah. through the holes, and it just looks beautiful. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to even look it up. Yeah. It's hard to actually tell what are wreck buildings and what is construction, <laughs> if that makes sense. That goes for all of Spain, really. They're all a bit uh, yeah. ruinous, some of them. But it adds to the character, doesn't it? So if you was going on a tour for this, which way do you go in, though? This is what I'm not understanding. You have, there is a tourist information in the new town. Yeah. I think you have to get your tickets there or you can get them online. And then you meet someone in a certain place and it takes you around. So that's like a church tower there, all destroyed. Yeah, I feel a bit naive. I don't know anything about the Spanish Civil War. Didn't even know there was one. So that is how you spell it, guys. We have noticed, if you go up here, there's a fence, but I think we'll be able to see quite a bit from up here. Yeah, I'm intrigued, yeah. Oh, God, there is dogs. Off. Everyone has a guard dog in Spain. Everyone. <laughs> Hello. Just, just Hello. <laughs> okay, this is a bit better. <laughs> right next to this building. They look like they're made out of mud. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. I'm sure there's ways of getting in. Somebody's put a crate up there, but what would happen to you if they caught you? I don't know. Well, they would catch you because <laughs> there's no one here. <laughs> Everywhere yeah. is silent. They're going to catch you. There's even a sign on wall there. But that is beautiful. Well, it's dangerous, I suppose, as much as anything, isn't it, to be in there? Mm, I suppose so. Yeah, it's just ruined building after ruined building after ruined building. It would be a very, very interesting tour. But I think that is all you're going to get of it, guys. Unfortunately. So I believe the ITV did a documentary called The Spanish Civil War. And the opening scene was actually taken just at that churchy thing. Oh, was Inside it? there, yeah. So, as far as the Spanish Civil War is concerned, this is one of the most, if not the most uh, prominent part of it. So, I'm going to watch that if I can find it. I want, I need to know about the Spanish Civil War. I'd like to see the actual ruins and stuff. I'm going to find something like that. I did look at a little bit online. You know, before yeah. they started charging for these guided tours, there's one of a girl who went in there and she had a drone and really cinematic going in and out of oh, all the wow. doors. Fantastic yeah. to look at, but not allowed anymore. Which, you know, in a way I can understand, eight euros each isn't too much money for an hour and a half's time of a guide. And it puts the money back and it puts, into the town, exactly. doesn't it? And trust me, this town needs money. But what I'm thinking anyway, it's a, it's a health safety aspect to it now, and maybe you do need to be supervised. Who, you me? Know what I mean? People. Oh, anyone in general, I thought yeah. you meant just me. <laughs> yeah, you need supervising. <laughs> so we're going to leave this place with a little bit of art for you. A crocodile with a pint there. Yeah, we're moving on about 25 minutes further up the road yeah. for tonight's stop. You can actually stop here, but 
we're moving on. <laughs> it's yeah. just nothing to, you know, the new town oh. has absolutely nothing to offer. I think it's got one restaurant, one bar, that's it. It's just not worth looking around. Anyway, see you soon. <laughs> just driving at the back side of it now and yeah, you can see the church a bit better this way. Not that it's coming up clear on the camera. <laughs> But yeah, we saw some sneaky, sneaky little ways that you could have gotten in. <laughs> Didn't we just now? <laughs> if you wanted to risk it, yeah. Yeah. So we've made it to our final destination of the day. Thank God. <laughs> I'm knackered from it. We're both getting <laughs> tired now. Yes. Um, yeah, a nice enough air. Eh? Massive, massive space. Massive. It says space for 10 motorhomes, Mazzy. Yeah. You could get loads in here and it's got all the services you need over there. Yeah. There's something up there with a cross on top, like a very old medieval church maybe. And up here... No, it's just the cross. You'll quite often see... Do you think so? Yeah, I think you'll quite often see those. Up there it looks like there's a bull ring. But the problem is everything is up there. And I'm dreading it. We've got the we've got the magic got stick. Stick today, good. <laughs> but today isn't really about giving you a proper tour. Today is just about us getting up there, getting something to eat. Um, but yeah, having a quick look around as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. This is as Spanish as I think we're gonna get. That depends what you class as Spanish. What I mean is, the place is just. What is that? There's someone's radio. What I mean is, it doesn't look like a tourist spot no, at all. No, not at all, no. And look at the buildings here, they're all falling down, man. It's all crumbly. It's like Arri a ruinous town. Arriving here was like really derelict and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, it's... <laughs> it was a bit freaky. I thought, where are we going? <laughs> look at this, this house here. Look at, in the middle of there, can you see it? That's beautiful. But completely abandoned and destroyed. So yeah, I, I do actually think, once we get up there, it's gonna be worth looking at. Yeah, it's getting up there though. I've only climbed this and I'm knackered. <laughs> You'll manage. I think we need to go this You're way. You're torturing me. <laughs> you are torturing me with all this walking. <laughs> I was sat in the van quite happy, Mazzy wanted to come out. Yeah, whatever. So all these buildings, apart from this one here, <laughs> appear to be derelict. It's just all built into the rock fit, that's derelict. It's like a ghost town. It is, yeah. It was really ghost town here. <laughs> but it's interesting, it really is. I can't wait to get up there and see what's up there. Didn't even know there was a river here. <laughs> it's a very unusual place, is this? It really is. Okay, fill your boots. El Molino Harinero. Oh, we haven't even told them where we are. No. Where are we, Mazzy? That's for grey waste. Looks kind of cavey. No, that's a drive of grey waste, is that? <laughs> I don't know where we are, darling. Um... Can you just hold that a second? I'll try yeah. and find... We need to tell them where we are, don't we? Yeah. They want to know, we are in... Albaleta... Albaleta del Azobispo. Which really doesn't help you, does it? But that's what it's called. I can't help you any more than that, sorry. Albalete del Azabispo. We'll probably see a sign. Yeah, I hope we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quite a steep hill here with a lovely looking church in front of us. Up there, look. It's quite steep. And we're just hobbling up here, struggling. And there was a woman coming down, she must have been 95. And I says, look Mazzy, if a 95 year old woman can do it, you can do it. And then she started running. <laughs> she literally started running. 
Oh. Yeah, I think up here is going to be some really good, interesting things to see. Okay, so halfway up. <laughs> that looks spectacular over there. And this tunnel here is incredible. It just says something like Gallio di Roma. Well, this must be like the town square, if you like, village square. It's an interesting place though, isn't it, Mazzy? Definitely interesting. It's more than what we thought we were going to get, isn't it? Well, when you're driving to it, it just looks like it's all cement and modern and rubbish. But it certainly isn't. Look at this. Look at this. So there is a door open here at this churchy looking thing. Oh, well, peek his head round the door. We might show you a clip. That's made of wood? No, I think that might be oh, a plate a, on top. Yeah, metal plate. Yeah, but... Keyhole's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> the door handle's wonky. It's nice. You can't see nothing in there, it's pitch black. I'll tell you what, the camera picked it up better than we could see it. Really? We, we yeah. could hardly see anything yeah. in there, but I think you got a bit of description. What, a, an amazing door though. Yeah, it's nice. So to shorten the name of the village we're in, it's called Albalate. Albalate. A few interesting things on there, but oh that's what the church did look like if we could have seen it lit up. Can only guess they were saving on um, electricity. It might be the ambience feel that they were after. Yeah, but it was dangerously dark. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <Don't they? laughs> It sounds quite noisy here. For some reason, yeah. just at this particular spot, there's a tourist information there. It's quite a lot of people hanging around. We're getting back into the quiet bit now. It's actually got a casino. A casino, that's incredible. In such a small village, you've got a casino. I think that's closed down at the minute. I was looking at Google Maps. The patisserie is shut, the baker is shut. Why am I calling yeah. it? We still keep saying French words. <laughs> That's what they called patisserie, isn't it? Patisserie? Yeah, in France. But that's what they call them. No, it's a similar word, but it isn't patisserie. Oh. Um, it's starting to rain now. It is uh, spitting a bit. We've seen three shops open and two of them have been tobacconists. Very big on smoking in Spain, we've noticed. Because they're so cheap. Compared to over in the UK. So we found another centre bit with a statue. Maz has been wanting to see this statue. Yeah, because I saw it on Google. <clears throat> but before yeah. we show you the statue, I just want to point out, you know how we keep showing you buildings where the building next to it's being knocked down? Yeah. I think what's happened is years ago, years ago, I think they just used to make them out of really cheap <laughs> materials and yeah. they used to just fall down. So what you find is, for example, these two, where there used to be a house, they've rebuilt one. So it's not a matter of finding a plot of land, it's a matter of just squeezing in something new in between. Uh, but this is the statue, let's go take a look. So I don't know who this guy is, or girl. Angel or Sands, 1970. Google it. Google it, fill your boots. It's like a, a metal man. Very nice. And then a couple of dancers up there, all metal. Is this metal? No, that's concrete. Very nice, very nice. Apple Found a Cornish pie. pasty, Mazzy. Apple pie. No, it's a Cornish, that's apple pie. That's a Cornish pasty. That's huge. It's a very flat Cornish pasty. It must be. 
Lovely, don't they? Yeah, walnut and sugar on that. I don't know. So I was tempted to go in that bakery, but you couldn't see in it. And then a, a woman was coming out, so I was peering through the blindy screeny thing. And a woman came out and she started talking to me in Spanish. <laughs> and this is the second time I've done it in Spain now. I've literally what? just walked off when <laughs> someone's been talking to me because I just don't know how to communicate back. <laughs> I don't know what they want, I don't know what she was saying. I felt really bad, but what can you do? Just hold the camera up next time and they'll understand. It's raining now. Yeah, what are we going to do? I don't know. Okay, we're struggling for, to find somewhere to eat. Quick fountain shot, quick church bell. It is showing two restaurants up here, but I'm not holding up, holding out much hope, I'll be honest with you. The place is absolutely dead. Everyone's gone to sleep. Perfect example. See how they've put the, uh, I don't know what you call this, this insulation thing on the side of there. There's obviously been a house here at one point. One day there will be another house built in there. Like all these are new builds, you can see. Yeah, we're not having any luck at all with this uh, restaurant business. There's one more up here. Give that a go. If not, what then? <laughs> Spam sandwiches. Yeah. Oh. Good timing, good timing. So, the church bell just went off, and I don't know if you can see, right at the top there, it appears to be a tree, but it might be a vulture's nest. Or fake. <laughs> or fake, we don't know, but that is a proper, it's either a huge nest or that is a tree. I don't know. <laughs> um, I tried to ask the owner of the bar, he didn't have a clue what I was talking about, and he just went on and on and on, and on, and on in Spanish. But I come out the toilet, right? You're going like this, duh, 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 and he's going, duh, duh, duh. Oh, come on, that's got to be something special, Mazze. It's just a tree. Why is it special? How many trees have you ever seen on but top why of a is church? It special? It's 200 metres up in the Maybe air. Maybe a bird pooped there, right? Ten years ago, pooped a seed and now it's growing a tree. Why is that special? <laughs> I don't know if it's a tree or a nest of a vulture, because it's know. huge. Anyway, the it's bells raining. have just gone off. I'm getting smoky bacon flavour. Yeah, that's a little... The tapas here tapas. are a lot better. You've got um, peanuts, you've got crisps, oh, the stars. which are a little bit like knickknacks. Tastes like bacon. You've got a, a mixture of different things, and none of it is octopus balls. So we did just go to a bar, and actually it was really nice. We were contemplating in a meal, but the whole menu just seemed really fishy. Very, very fishy. Very fishy. Everything was fishy. But the tapas little entree thing that we'd yeah, gotten... Yep, yeah, no, I'm talking about the tapas entree thing that we'd gotten given with our pints in the last bar. It was amazing, wasn't it? had jelly beans, it had peanut. Not it was, jellyfish, jelly beans. Yeah, it was like a, a kid's breakfast that they would die for. <laughs> Let's get these go. These stars are amazing. Let's give them a go. So the point of actually being here is because we thought they were gonna serve meals. The point of us going into the last bar, we thought they were going to serve meals. We didn't like the menu at all. All the shops are closed, everything's closed. Looks like I'm going home to make Dan spam sandwiches once and for all. Once that spam's gone, thank God, I'll be, I'll be glad once that's gone. But what I'm going to have, don't know. Good morning. Good morning. Ah. <laughs> um, right. Someone asked us to show a typical air services here in Spain, so I'm just going to do that in a moment. You can see we're right in a dip here. If you come round here, look. The sun is trying to come up from behind there. There's a lovely cross up there. 
and the sun is just coming up on the hills and up in the town, in the village. Well, it's still freezing. <laughs> it is cold, but the sun is Right, typical services. Every single one of them has Waste a drive water. over. Um, have we come across that every time? I have think we? so. There's some airs that don't have services, though. That might not have, like, a toilet emptying or might not have fresh water. We might have seen one. That's we have all. come across it, though. They're all slightly different. Some of the water ones do charge you for the water, but we haven't come across them yet. Um, you always get a bin, usually. I think we've been to one without a bin. And it's always a big dumper bin, which is one over there. Right, this is the big thing. This is your toilets, by the way. This is actually a very good one. It's usually just a lid, a lift-up lid in the floor. Right, but this one, it's a lift-up lid. Um, but you don't have a hose on any of them. So you've got to swill around... You know, you have to clean it up. <laughs> but this is the important bit, the water. Now, what you will find is a lot of them are push-button ones. Yes. So you have to keep pushing it. <laughs> and most of them we've come across are this... Do you want to just show them this thread here? It's a very small thread. Now, most people in Britain, when you get a, a set of connectors, it will have one of them on it. So that... But most people just throw that away and just use that because that's what we use in England. That's like your bigger thread. But this screws into the bottom of there and that will now fit on there. Which you've only actually found out this morning that we have that. Yes. <laughs> so we have been going to SMS and not being able to fill up with water because of this. I didn't know I had one of them. But so, I think... Are quite a lot of them are quite different though, aren't they? They're different from one to another, the sizings. Yes, definitely. So I'll make sure yeah. you come with definitely both a few of them adapters. Sizes. Yeah. So to fill up today, I'm gonna have to keep pressing this button. <laughs> Gosh. We're, in no rush we've, uh, we're waiting for a supermarket to open. Yeah, our very first super proper supermarket this morning. It doesn't open till half past nine. Yeah. Mm. And uh, we're going on a campsite for two days to relax. Yay! <laughs> and to today. check it out, to check it out as well. I'm surprised we got um, got in all right, actually. Right, this is going to take some doing, Mazzy. Right, I'm going to go and have to check in, I. Yeah, this going. could be easier to do on campsite. It could be. <laughs> but we're here now. 100% <laughs> Good So that actually only took about 6 minutes from 50% and we were on 50% I, like we're gonna take, I thought the pressure was going to be really bad with it being a push button but that were alright with that Yeah, Dan had a technique, he just lent on it so there weren't no keep pushing, keep pushing, so to say <laughs> It's quite warm What the water, is it? <sighs> It's not drinkable, by the way. No, 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 no. We we only ever use um, the water out of the van for the kettle, which gets boiled. Um, but we do that back home as well. We'd never drink out of our taps, even back home, do we? No. no. <laughs> Wouldn't trust it. No. You know, the campsites we go to, some of them just don't look like had to drink out of their taps. No, but do you ever remember that time we were in Ireland and we filled up at a graveyard? Yes, and it was... And greeny yellow. It took, I, I was starting to get ill and it took me a while to understand what was going on and I realised then when I was made, we were halfway through the tank by this point and I was doing the coffee or the kettle or something and I noticed that the water was all greeny brown yes. and it was awful. Yeah, it made me ill anyway. Right, toilet and then doing toilet. Yeah, she may as well. He's a good lad, isn't he? Let's give some super thanks to some super duper amazing, incredible super people. Super duper people. We would like to give super thanks to Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. Starla Phillips, the best Thank name in you, the world. Starla. Lynn and Tony Highton. Thank you, Lynn and Tony. Neil Adams. Thank you, Neil. 
Michael and Ted Lutas. Thank you, Michael and Ted. And Gaz and Chaz. Thank you, Gaz and Chaz. Well remembered, Chaz, sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you all very much for your support. Yeah. Right, as I say, we're off to a campsite now for two days. You know, everyone thinks we're just on an holiday. It's exhausting. It's been very hard for us. We are working as well as yeah. enjoying ourselves. Um, and it's caught up to us a bit. Although today I feel pretty good. It's the constant going every day. It's like world camping back home. You know, that got exhausting for us in the end, didn't it? Mm. And it's that constant, you've got to get up, get get somewhere. Do, you know, it's that constant, constant. We don't have Saturday, Sundays off. Oh, you got to get oh. up, got to get out. Right. Do, 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 Is that do. it then? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've decided to get a campsite. Now, if you, at the very north of Spain, all the campsites were like 35, 45 euros per night. You said more than that. Some of them. Yeah. Stupid money, stupid Couldn't money. Couldn't afford to do it. It's double than what we would have been paying back home, some of them. So luckily the airs have been fantastic. Yeah. Um, and the only reason we need a campsite now and again is for electric. Yeah. Because we've only found one air with electric so far, and it was yeah. more like a campsite, wasn't it? You know, in Bill Bower. I can't remember. It, it was more like a campsite. I prefer the airs anyway. The airs, you're you're actually in I the do. towns. The campsites, you're not anywhere like this next one we're going to. Although you've got facilities on site, which we don't know are, are opened yet, out of season and stuff, but there's nothing nearby, is there? No, it's... Yeah, it, it is just somewhere to go to retreat, to yeah. relax. That's what people do on holiday. They go yeah. and retreat and relax and sit on their bums. <laughs> so, It'll be the first time we get our chairs out, though, won't yes, it? Yes, because you can't get your chairs out of airs either. <laughs> no, That's the downside. No. Um, so, yeah, this... Like it's like a little resort next to a lake, um, supposedly with a bar, a swimming pool, and restaurant. So we'll just have to wait and see what it's yeah. like. But yeah. for us, we're just going to recharge all those batteries and recharge all our batteries. <laughs> we're going to enjoy ourselves because it's yeah. meant to be sunny as well. So the next two days should be good. Oh, don't know where to start. Our worst, your worst fear, has come true. Flat tyre. We've got a flat tyre. Mm. Now, we knew we were pulling into this little lay-by anyway, but coming down the road, I kept saying... I said to you, didn't I? I said, why does it feel like we've got a flat tyre? I could tell. It like bumpy, but... And then as we were coming in, it was it was like out of control, and you could tell, yeah, couldn't you? that's when I noticed Yeah, it. we only got it on a, sh a long stretch road. But Luckily, it's... we're in a good position... Safe, we're safe. safe. A proper park up area. Now, I can't even find all those uh, documents which we were supposed to have at hand for if the police ever stopped us. I don't know what, where I put You're them. panicking, that's all. We've literally just found this out. Oh, I feel like that now because we don't have a spare tyre. And don't say, why didn't you bring a spare tyre? We don't have a spare tyre on the van, do we? Have you got the insurance papers? Yeah. I just hope it's someone English we speak to. Well, it would be, yeah. Uh... Well, this is a nightmare. Right, well, let's give him a call. We'll have to see how we get on. So here we are. We, we are safe in this lay-by thing. That's your main road there. Yep, yeah, look at it. Look at the state of it. It was absolutely boiling. I don't, don't really want to touch it. Yeah, it's boiling and all, because we had this stuff put into it and it's popped out, splattered everywhere. Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh dear, look at the back of the van. Don't even know if we've got a jack. <laughs> I got a dad, so all that matters. <laughs> Oh, it could only happen to us, couldn't it? It's trying to put us through to a French breakdown. It's making me feel sick. <laughs> it's making me wonder if we should buy a spare wheel to have in this van, shouldn't we? I never thought that that was going to ever blow. I thought that was the whole point in this stuff that got put into our tyres. 
And if anybody comments on this video saying you will have a spare tyre, we have not got a spare tyre, okay? We got that a lot when we first got the van. Well, you will have one. It's under there. It's in there. It's under... We haven't. <laughs> but, yeah. This is messing with my anxiety today. I'm not going to get to this big supermarket, are we? <laughs> we it weren't meant to be. <laughs> The positive about it is it is only a flat tyre. They just need to get us to a garage to have it changed, which they can do. It does look like we're going to have to pay for it. By yeah. the sounds of it, they don't cover. If you haven't got a spare tyre, you're not covered. Which is fine, we don't care. I just want to get it fixed and be on our way. And it is only a tyre at the end of the day. You know, it's not a big mechanical problem so no. that's the plus and we're in a very safe area we are we've a had a few pull over we've had a few people stop and i've said to you should we ask them for help but you want to go through with this one first don't you yeah thank you very much yeah and we'll you're welcome sir and we'll check on you uh, in an hour and a half to see uh, if everything went well okay thank you very much for your time thank you you're welcome sir. <laughs> thank you, you thank you goodbye <laughs> that wasn't easy trying to speak to a Frenchman, but he was very very good at English. He was very good at being understanding. Yeah. Just telling me to slow down sometimes when yeah. I was trying to spell places out. He had patience. He had didn't patience. He? Yeah. But he says someone will be here in <sighs> sixty to ninety minutes. So what will happen then? I do not know. I don't know. But it took it took about twenty minutes just to get through to him, yes. didn't it? <laughs> So, right, that so... will be quarter to 11, no it won't, it will be quarter past 11 to quarter to 12. <sighs> relax, you can relax now. I just need to get in touch with the campsite, I'll send them an email, because they were expecting us between 11 and 12. It's only polite, isn't it? Right, just relax for a bit. I just wish I could have a beer, and I can't. <laughs> I need one now. That's That was horrendously stressful. It's not over yet. I know. And oh. the thing is, on in our tyre, we've got that gunk, which yes. they're not going to be happy about. It's gone everywhere. And are they going to tow us to a garage to do it, or are they going to be able to do it here? Mm. We'll have to wait and see. We did, co well, you'd contemplated saying about, let's just pump it up, get to the campsite, because it ain't that far, really, on the map. No, but it it's no. a long way around. It's taking us and yeah. too risky. You know, if we were on the campsite, they could speak Spanish mm. and there is a garage in the town, yep. we could have got someone out, I'm sure, but it looks Never like mind. it's yeah. going to be sorted. Yeah, thank you, babe. Oh, that this was is why we paid <laughs> £1,300 £1, for us insurance and breakdown last month. We got good cover on all of our others as well, so I'm not going to disrespect those. Right, come on, let's just have a minute to ourselves, yeah. So whilst we're waiting for the breakdown, man, flat as a pancake now. You know, we did have that goo inside, so it must be a proper split or something, because just a, a nail wouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if Maz is showing you. She might have done actually. Luckily, this is where we did stop. It is a proper stop off. You've got these, it's like a ski electric set with proper cars. Um, so, luckily, I could give a proper address because this is like a, an artistic monument. I could give exactly where his location is. So, they'll find us all right. I've got a feeling they're going to send someone from a breakdown in Alcaziz or whatever it's called which is only what, 20 minutes away so I'm hoping, I just hope they can do it here and now and they don't have to tow us to a garage it all depends on whether they've got a tyre as well doesn't it, that's one of the big problems anyway I'm feeling a bit more relaxed now, just knowing that it's reported and someone's looking after us. It could have been a lot worse, could have been a lot worse. We could have been stuck 
in a really bad place. Did you show them the monument? No, oh. too much on me yet. <laughs> I've done it anyway. Well, let's not waste this time. I might as well educate you all. Do you want to see a, a new species of tree outside? <laughs> Mazzy just pointed it out, so I've looked it up on my sea cap. These berries on here, look. This is a china berry tree. It's from the mahogany family, and it's used mainly for its wood. Mahogany, obviously. But there's like big, hard um, pips inside them. Uh, used for rosemary beads back in the day. Really? Really. That's interesting. Nowadays they tend to just be plastic, but yeah. rosemary beads were used out of the... What were they called? Oh, was it out of the tree bark? It's out of the actual tree. It would have been the, the, the beads, I would have thought. I don't know if it's the round seeds or the actual wood, but hey, rosemary things made out of them. Is that somebody here? No, it's just a lorry. Come on, come and help us. Flies, 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 flies. So I've got a job for Dan while we're here. Me for Dan? You just said give me two screws. So I've given you screws. I ain't doing nothing. I've got to keep my eye open for a breakdown, man. You're not going to do that? I've got the important job. If you want rid of the flies, I've thought about it, right? There's only one in entrance. If you open the door, they'll fly out. They'll just go in circles. Oh, like when I open the window that you run me down for, my dear. I know. I'm oh, I'll deal with it. Little update. <laughs> so I got my fly screen up. I did it. Thank you, honey. <laughs> uh, quick update. I uh, just had a phone call from the... Um... Madrid. Yeah, I'm guessing it's Madrid. like a central office there or something. He spoke good English. Yeah, they've all spoken really good English. Anyway, he's sending now one of his guys out from a town that is only about 10 minutes away. What, yeah. we've been waiting now, an hour and a half? Something like that. Yeah, about an hour and a half now. He says he's not sure if he can do it on the spot. I was trying to explain that it's got the gunk in it, but he didn't understand. And... He did just say, though, if he can't do it on the spot, he'll have to go into the garage. It might need parts. Which must mean if they haven't got that tyre or if the wheel's damaged. And I says, well, we are staying on a campsite near there. If they could just get us there, we'd be all right. But we haven't, we've no shopping or anything. So... No, nothing again. <laughs> we need the campsite to have its restaurant open so mm. we can eat there. If that's the case, hopefully... He has got it. As long as he's got a tyre. Yeah, I think this. he was concerned of what condition the actual tyre was in and the wheel. I think the wheel's Possibly. okay. I think it'll be all right. But I don't know about the tyre. I don't know if that's going to be a quick puncture fix that he could do and just temporarily get us to the campsite. He might be able to do that. It's got all that gunk in it, though. And they don't know that. They don't understand this. That's He'll make see the job it. He'll see it. I know. But that gunk shouldn't have even gotten us in this position. <laughs> well, it depends on how bad the hole is or whatever it is. Yeah, we don't know what's done it, do we? No. Hmm. We've been waiting nearly two hours now. We've kept you waiting long enough. Yeah. We're going to leave it here. Yeah. You're going to have to come back tomorrow. Come back mm. tomorrow to see if we get sorted out. We haven't mm. been sorted out. We don't know the outcome. No. So, <laughs> don't panic, though. You know, we'll be fine. We're not, we've stopped panicking now. But uh, come back tomorrow to see exactly yeah. what happens. We have checked the tyre, and the tyre itself is ruined. All the metal bits have come out. It's like Fred Bear kind. Well, it's not Fred Bear, but... Yeah. So we don't know what's going to happen. See you yep. all tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. <sighs> More adventures from Spain coming tomorrow. And the lovely Dan and Mazzy. And breakdown recovery. You know, he's not here yet. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. bye.